for me it was an indescribable experience to uh, operate the aircraft at over 6,000 meters to land in those incredible landscape and those beautiful mountains. I think this is something we can only uh, achieve with the Voyager 145. The objective of the test campaign in Bolivia was to certify the aircraft up to 20,000 feet for takeoff and landing and to demonstrate the operational capability to perform rescue missions up to those altitudes and we were very successful in achieving that. Uh, the H-145 has excellent performance. We demonstrated this already at low altitude. We wanted to demonstrate this now at the very high altitudes uh, that we found in Bolivia. So from 4,000 to 5,000, 6,000 meters. What we also showed is the good controllability of the aircraft, uh, the ability of the aircraft, even at those very high altitudes, to be fully controllable with the crosswind, with the normal takeoff. We also had some customer demonstrations in Bolivia and Peru where we uh, showed to some of our customers the capabilities of the aircraft in VIP transport, in passenger transport, uh, utility missions. Uh, we went up to a mine with uh, eight passengers on board. The mine was located at uh, 12,500 feet and we showed that we can get there safely, get back safely. And uh, to crown it all, we also demonstrated the operational capability to operate at even higher altitudes. We uh, did a landing on the Ilimani mountain, which is uh, almost 6,300 meters high, and uh, we showed that we can do this um, without any problems. What we demonstrated during the campaign was that the H-145 is a very capable aircraft. It has the excellent performance to do the missions at those extreme altitudes, 4,000 meters and higher at ISO plus 20 conditions. And um, I think we showed the aircraft as a very safe aircraft to be operated by all kinds of customers in those conditions and of course in less challenging conditions as well.